Oh, bro, Shaza, no. Oh, not bro, Shaza. Um, Beatrice. <laughs> so we are riding. We're riding the. Uh, what is this guy's name? I forgot. Yeah, Albion. Yeah, yeah. We're riding Albion. Albion's taking us to Elgashia, dude. That means we might go from Papunika. Yeah, look, look at this. You see this Albion right here, right? I bet you ride Albion from Papunika, and then you come here, and then you can ride him again to go back. I wonder if you have to pay him silver, though. <laughs> so in order for us to protect Elgashia, we got to go to Kayangil. That's what she said, right? So Kayangil is the new dungeon. This has to be like a, a trial area. Like you just go in and then you do shit. This is probably the library too, because we saw this one time. We saw this at the uh, the Island of Wisdom. Oh wait, it is. Karma is right here. It look it looks like blocking, guys. Right? Let me look at it again. Let's look at it again. Does he look like absorbing? It doesn't look like he's absorbing it though. I mean, it makes sense because he's been absorbing a bunch of people, right? Kayangil is something like you go and you're not destroying something. It's more like a test. I think it's like a test. Yeah, see, it says test your test your uh, test your strength. That's what it says. That's what the god said. So you're basically going to Elgasha to prove yourself. Nineveh gets tested as well. But why is Karma in there? Why? And why is Kadan coming with us? Look at this, Kadan. Kadan's behind us, dude. This is Kadan for sure. This is yeah, it is Kadan. Look at him. You know what this means? I think the Khan raid or the Theomine raid is gonna be in Elgasha for sure. The director said Kadan is going to be in the Theomine raid. Like as an Esther skill. He has to be fighting in Elgashia then, right? Yo, I am so excited, man. I'm so excited for Wednesday. Dude, the Wednesday, the server's gonna blow up for Korea, man. So how this works is this is a new like a new region. And when you when you read about it. So it's telling us like the beginning parts of the story, like as in when you arrive in Algasha, everyone welcomes Nineveh and that kind of stuff. And they say Nineveh is the Lazinia's sword. She's, I guess she's like a super important uh, NPC for this area. Like she just realized it afterwards. That's the, how the story goes. And then there's like a library. So it's telling us like the basics of the story. So we don't really need to look into it super closely. And this is another map. So I think there's three maps total. So there's this map and this map and the main city. This is a new Abyss Dungeon Kayangil, right? This is what we're getting on Wednesday. Four-man dungeon. And you can do it per, once per week per character. And there's a normal and hard. And hard has a hard hard one, hard two, and hard three. The normal level, you need to be at 1475, which is a Kako Seidan. And hard one, <laughs> see, yeah. Hard, harder, and hardest. <laughs> so hard level is 1520, which is a Bro Shaza Gate 5 level. Uh, harder is 1560. And hardest is 1580. So hardest is 1580. What's important about this dungeon, this dungeon doesn't give you gold, but it gives you extra items. You can upgrade your ability stones. When you upgrade your ability stones, it just gives you additional HP though. The thing that's interesting to me is this means that if you have a stone and you upgrade it, you would just use that stone. So if you have a good 9-7, you just upgrade that. that that's what I think. When you upgrade, 15,254 to 16,669. Nice. Yep, it also says here, even if you upgrade them, the pluses will not change. So to get it to upgrade once, you need a uh, Spear of Light, four of them. And I'm assuming if you beat the hardest mode, I think they'll give us four. Because usually you can upgrade it the first week. Oh, so it says each upgrade of the ability stone costs different materials. This one is super important. I thought this one was more important than the ability stones. This particular set levels your set item level to three instead of two. So what this means is if you look at here, this is a level two set. As in, you notice this uh, at, over here, right beside my mouse, it says level two. So the set bonus level one, and then there's set bonus level two. And if you go to the set bonus level two, what happens is, for example, it gives you 18% identity gauge gain. Uh, if it's level 1, it's 16. And then it gives you more stats afterwards. Something like Entropy Set. And you beat, you go to level 2 by using Koko Seidon's, uh Trumpet. The Trumpet item. And if you get it to level 2, it's 20%. And if you look at here, you can get it to level 3. What does this mean? It, this is actually going to change some of the builds. Because imagine you get extra crit from Entropy Set. No one knows what the third level is going to be. 
Yep, it doesn't really say anything about the balancing. So if the set bonus gets to level three, what if this is 22%? You can actually allocate more crit combat stat to somewhere else. If you're actually if you actually have a class that needs to bring a little bit more crit on the crit combat stats to get a higher crit chance, that can be moved to spec. If you're considering level three settings, uh some people may some people may build it differently. So I think there could be a build change too. That's what I've been thinking because we need to know what the level three gives. Also, and at the same time, this particular item that you can level up your set bonus, you can use it to trade a lot of different items. So this Kion Guild dungeon, we probably have to repeat this over and over and over again to get materials, to get car packs, materials, etc. New Makoko seeds. <laughs> There's gotta be Makoko seeds in Agashia too. <laughs> This also says the Gate of Paradise dungeon, and then people who are like wondering about Algasia's story, right? All the story related questions will be unveiled at Wednesday. So this is what I'm excited about because all the things that were like cliffhanger until this point is going to be shown on Wednesday. The director also talked about how like they work really hard for Algasia, right? All right, cool. So this covers it, man. So um, I'm excited for Wednesday and on uh when I do it, uh, I'll see you guys there for sure. April 27th. Oh, I am so excited. I am so excited, dude. Dude, I've never been so excited in my life.